magic, mystery, and illusion is what you're going to see tonight as Mr. Magic takes you on a journey throughout magic. Hi, I'm Mr. Magic, and welcome to my first ever television special, The Journey. Yes, I'm going to take you on a journey through magic, starting with some fantastic close-up magic, then we're going to move to some stage magic with some brand new illusions that I'm bringing to you, and all culminating with what's going on behind me. Yep, there's my crew back there. They're setting up for a fantastic illusion that has never been performed by any magician here in the island of Bermuda. I've been working on it, I've been practicing, and hopefully I'm going to get it right. But before all of that happens, I want you to sit back and relax and enjoy one of the funniest men here in the island of Bermuda. Please welcome to the stage. Nadunja. Tonight, I'm gonna be the first black collie buds. <laughs> Run it. Yeah, man, turn it up. I can't hurt, man. I need to feed it in my bones. Yeah, man. I came straight from Crawl. Big up, man. I'm Jamaican tonight. Watch me. Big up everybody that come out tonight. Yes, man. Big up. Watch me. I take the next shot of tequila. The vibes tonight, yeah, so tweet ya. Uh. I'm out of this week, senorita. Who a bounce to the bass and the tweeter? Uh. Hey, boy bonita, mama sita. Girl, why let me come behind you? She makes you feel so nice. Would I dance all night if you want to, oh, girl? Till I'm on and light. Look how you feel in front of me, so girl. Let me hold you. Yo, cut man. Next one, next one. Me Jamaica. Me nah, me nah. Distress one tone too long. Next one, next one. What is the next one? Whatever you play, I sing. Yo. Music man. Wait, what, acapella? Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. If it's playing, let it play. It's playing? No man, no man. Go to the next track, just play and leave it. And uh, we'll wait till it kicks in. Yeah, man, we wait. Everybody just sit still. <laughs> we wait. I know this one. This Sean Paul goes like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Feel it turn now. Yeah. People say, I don't really watch what them want do. Still, I got to stick to my girls like Lou, and I may not play number two. All as I miss, I miss is getting jet. Feel a lot of trees up in my head. Got a lot of them all in my bed to run that rear But tough little girl, I got the, got the, got the goody, goody. What if you have a young bitch, I got the goody, goody, brother. Huh? Show me, show me, but then they want to be up, it's okay, it's okay. Huh? You yeah, want to see me, see me. Give me, give me. Yo, pull up that man straight from Crawl. Me the Jamaican singer from Crawl. Big up, man. That's my roots. All right, that's it. <laughs> Everybody, I. All right, cool. Let me tell you guys a, a couple of stories before Magic comes and does his thing, right? So. You know, I, I used to live in New York, right? And I'm gonna tell you, when I lived in New York, my second day, I almost got beat up or killed. Cause you know, Bermudians, what colorful people, right? So my second day in New York, I'm wearing a red shirt. Now, you know, out oh, there, I got gangs and stuff, right? So, you know, I had to take a train and then a bus to get to my house. Now, when I get off the bus, across the street is a bodega, a bodega is a smaller grocery store like Arnold's. They have everything. But you got all these gang guys hanging outside the bodega, right? So anyway, I'm walking to my house, got my rear shirt on, this guy shouts out to me, yo! Throws up a sign. So you know me straight from Bermuda, I'm like, yo, yes I. Cool, respect. <laughs> walking here, the boy shouts out to me, yo! up another sign. So I'm like, yeah, man, safe. Many times you wanna speak. <laughs> anyway, these guys rush me, surround me in a circle. They're like, yo, cuz, you ain't no blood. I said, what? You ain't no blood. I said, yo, Don, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> the boy says, yo, I hear an accent. Where you from? I said, Bermuda. He said, I, I, son, son, 
Never met nobody from Bermuda before, son. Boy says, hey man, you smoke weed? I was like, I was about to say no. <laughs> but it was 10 of these guys. I was like, yeah, I smoke weed all the time. From Bermuda, are you crazy? Grass. He always says, all right, cuz, but look, hell on to that. So anyway, I go home, cool. Tell my roommates about it, they're from Bermuda too. Next day, I forget, instantly. Next day, I'm wearing a red hat. Get off the bus. I only see two guys. So I'm walking home again. Guy shouts out, yo! There is up a sign. So I'm like, yeah, man, safe? Yo! Anyway, these two rush me, right? So then I, when he rushes me, the other group come out of the store. So they rush me and they're like, yo, son, you ain't no blood. I said, what? You ain't no blood. I said, done. We went through this yesterday. <laughs> so I'm now me to the other guys. Yo, you didn't tell your boys. So they're like, yo, Bermuda, what's up? Craig, leave him alone, man. That's Bermuda. He smokes weed. <laughs> Hey, my name is Nadanja. You guys have a good time tonight. Enjoy, Mr. Magic. Have a fantastic time. Thank you for having me. Hello. Good evening. Thank you guys for coming. I truly appreciate this. Uh, it's going to be a fun night tonight. I got to give it one more time, Nadanja. Give it up for him, please. Yeah, we're talking. And like my promo said, he is definitely one of the funniest guys that, that I do know. I mean, some jokers in your room, but he's funny. Anyway, tonight we are going to have some fun. Uh, as you see the monitor there, uh, like I said in the promo, we're going to start off with some close-up magic first. You guys sit back and actually watch TV for a little while. And then as we get past that segment, then we're going to get into the stand-up portion of the show with some brand new magic and uh, a big illusion. I, I got I to gotta say this because my crew is here tonight. And I want to say thank you to my crew. Uh, we all, uh, listen, when I did that illusion, even the crew were blown away. And they were there. I'm uh, B-Rock, tell me I'm lying. What did, Gary almost fainted, did he not? Okay. The crew was there. They knew what was going on. And still, so you guys are going to be absolutely amazed. So we're going to start things off. What I need is two volunteers to come up and have a seat at the head table with me. All right. Welcome. I appreciate the two of you coming here and being part of this. So we're going to start off with uh, one of my brand new illusions, brand new trick. Uh, I actually just been learning this uh, over a couple of weeks, but we're going to work this out. Now, and you are a pet, yes? And pleasure to see you. And... Caleb, yes, I do know you, young man, and you guys will meet Caleb later on for real. Now, I have a card here that I want you all to see. It's blue on one side, it's white on the other. It's actually a joker. Now, as you can see, this card, it's a little beat up for a particular reason. It has a flap there. See, if I hold the flap like that, the blue side is facing up. If I push it through the other side and I hold it on that side, the white side is facing up. Yeah? So, Pat, being as you're sitting on this side, I'm going to ask you which side would you like facing up, the white side or the blue side? The blue side. Okay, great. So I want you to hold on to the flap with both hands like that. Fingers there and fingers there. And come over this way, right there. Under no circumstances do I want you to let that go. Okay? So if I pull on it and anything like that, exactly. Don't let it go. Everyone can see right now that the blue side is facing up. Yeah? You're with me on that? Okay, great. Now I have this cloth here. Now, nothing about special about this, only that I'm going to cover this. And the blue side was the last side we saw facing up. Right? All right. Now I'm going to put my hands underneath. Now you're going to feel my hands touching yours. This doesn't mean anything. I just want you to know that I'm under here just, you know, doing something. You don't know what yet, but I'm just, you know, you felt my hands and all that. Nothing strange. Now, throughout that, at any time, did you let that card go? Absolutely sure. What side was facing up when we put the cloth over? Blue side. Okay, we just want to make sure because now there is the, uh... <laughs> uh, are you okay? You okay? All right. All right. You can let go now. You, you can let go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, see, just so that no one would think that we set this up, I'm going to now have Caleb hold on to it. And you have the white side facing up. Bring your hands over this side so people can see that the white side is facing up. Okay? And you hold on to the flap. You have the same instructions that Pat had. Do not, under any circumstances, let that flap go. Hands going to come underneath again. Now, you feel my hands there? Yeah? Just doing something ever so strange? Say, say yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. We don't want anybody to think this is a good thing. Okay? All right. So, there. Done. 
What side was facing up when you held on to it? The white side. And we take this off, and there we have it. And at no time you let that go. Is that correct? All right. Thank you very much. Give them both a round of applause, but stay, stay right there where you are. Stay right there where you are. I see that look on your face. Okay, that's cool. Now, as we go forward, I'm going to bring up a couple of things here. I have two coins here. One is an old English penny that you can see there. And the other one is an American half dollar, 50 cent piece, right there. And I'm going to bring to you a deck of cards. And the deck of cards is closed. Okay? Now, Caleb, what I want you to do, you know about cards at all? Name me, name me any card. Just name a card just to make sure you know cards. A jack. Okay, see, we're cool with that. But that's not what I want you to do. What I want you to do is I want you to think of any ace, whether it be the ace of hearts, ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, or the ace of spades. Any one. Do not say anything right now. Just think of it. And just tell me when you've locked in on it. Just give me a... You've got it? Okay, look at me. That's a good choice. The two coins I have here, I'm going to place right on top. Okay? Now, you're still thinking of that ace, right? Okay. I'm just going to start rubbing, okay? Just like that. Just rub. And if I hold that there and rub one coin, one coin just disappears. Okay? Now, this coin here, Pat, I just want you blowing that for me. Just blow. blow. Thank you very much. We don't need that one either. So that's, that's okay. All right. Now, now, Caleb, before we do anything else, I want you now to tell everyone, tell me, what ace were you thinking of? The ace of spades. I'm going to open up the box. Cards out. And as I just raise it up, there is the coin. And you said the ace of spades, is that correct? And just, just to let you know, there's no other ace of spades in, in the deck. Okay, we're cool with that. All right, great. Moving on and moving further. I now have four cards that I've taken off the deck. One, two, three, four. And I have four coins. Yeah, we're cool with that. Four quarters. And you can see those right there. All right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is I am going to place a card on top of each coin. Okay? Just... Make sure that they stay right there on top. Cool. Let's start with this card and this coin. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. The first way I'm going to do is like this, and I want you to watch. I'm just going to pick the coin up through the card, put it in my hand, just like that, and then drop it over there. Would you believe that? Well, I, I, I hope you would believe that because there it is. Okay? All right. Hang on a second. Let's go with this card and this coin. This time my hand's going under the table. And I hit it just like that and show you that there's nothing there. And then drop it. And now there's three. Okay, so you're with me on that so far, right? All right, last card, last coin. Watch. And there's all four coins. Thank you all for that. Now, we've been working with these four cards, and it's about time we show you what the four cards were, okay? So we know what we're working with. And we have four aces that, that we're working with here, right? All right, so let's just... Now, Pat, I'm gonna ask you a question. I want you to say it out real loud. I'm gonna show you what card. What is the first card you see? Ace of hearts. I'm just gonna rest that right there. And I have one, two, three aces left, yeah? Because we know we're working with the aces. And what is the next card you see? Ace of diamonds, and I'm going to place that right there as well, and I have the last two aces. I want you to place your hand on top of those two aces. I'm going to ask you a question. What was the first card you saw? <laughs> this is not the SATs. Okay? You, <clears throat> you have two cards. The first card you saw was, and the second card? Ace of diamonds. Okay. What I need you to do is I need you to raise your pinky finger. Je no, 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 no. Just your pinky finger and rest it down right there. Now, Caleb, okay, you're watching everything that's happened. Cards are there that you put your hands on first. I just put this right there just like that. I'm going to take these cards and slide it that way. I'm going to ask you one more time. First card you saw. And the second card. 
and you have this card securely under your hand. Is that correct? Okay, I just want to make sure that you do have that. Raise your hand over that. Don't be scared. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back, right after this message. Give it up for my two guests. Thank you guys very, very much. Thank you. Stay tuned for more great magic and later, the biggest illusion ever performed by Mr. Magic.